gents, and welcome to another review. Uh, well, it's more of a, a first impressions, really. Um, I've not tried this particular brew before. I've tried this brewery a few times now, quite a few times. And I intend to try them a few more, because they're great. Uh, the brewery is Verdant, and the beer is just maybe one more PSI. It's a double IPA. Now, what can I tell you about this beer? Well, I've read plenty of good things. Plenty of good things. So, we'll go on to what the beer says. Well, it's, it starts out by telling you it's an extra pale ale with golden promise wheat, oats and flaked wheat in there. The single hop in this is mosaic. And uh, it contains gluten, wheat and barley, so we know it's, um, it's not good for quite a few people. But anyone who drinks beer will probably not worry too much. There are some gluten-free alternatives out there, um, for those of you who are gluten intolerant. And anyway, in terms of the flavour, it says, think of berries, think of stone fruit, think of pine needles, think of a 1970s squash club changing room that's sweaty. That's mosaic. Maybe one more PSI is a single hop showcase. If you don't like mosaic hops, then you probably won't like this beer. So it's fair to say it's probably dank. Um, maybe one more PSI. One more pound per square inch. I wonder what they mean by that. I wonder. Maybe just one more PSI. Well, curiosity gets the better of me, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna. Well, I mean, I'm gonna drink it. But it says also it's a it's a, an eight percenter ABV, eight percent. So it's it's reasonably potent. And uh, yeah, let's crack on. So one more PSI. Maybe one more from Verdant. Now I know there's plenty of people out there who are not a great fan of the cam, um, particularly many fellow camera members, because um, I'm a camera member. They are very much against the can, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with the can. Look at that, look at the colour. It's pale. It's hazy. There is a, there there is that plummy scent, the plummy odour. Now I'm going to be careful about pouring because I have come across with many many brews that have been fermented slightly in the can that have got a little bit of sediment, and I don't want to come unstuck. But this one looks completely sediment free, so we're all good. Look at that. Look at that lovely golden colour. Wow, smells good. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. The colour is superb. Slightly hazy, and uh, again, many people will probably not enjoy that aspect of it. A lot of them like the clarity in the beer, and uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this one is vegan friendly, so there's no Isinglass to clarify the beer in this. Uh, maybe one more PSI. And I was wondering about the uh, the PSI. I was wondering, is it is it going to be overly carbonated with that in mind? Or are they going to shove another PSI of uh, CO2 in there? But it doesn't look to be the case. And it looks a wonderful brew. The colour is going to suggest fruity. The scent is... There's a definite stone fruit going on. There's definite plum in there. There's definite like apricot, that kind of sweeter fruit. But the proof is in the drinking, and let's drink it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Now there is that that plummy nature, that nectar. It's almost more nectarine on the taste than than. Uh, than apricot. And you can definitely get that mouth feel from the oats. And there is that element of dankness that the mosaic hop brings. It's wonderful. It really is. I mean, this. I've seen a few people suggest that this could be a contender for beer of the year, and they're not wrong. It really is good. It's thick, it's juicy, it's, it's almost. 
what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it, it's, it's another word that describes the pine, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. It's that good. It's there is a thickness that, that, that the oats and that bring, and the taste is quite spot on. I can only imagine that if it's this good in the can, it's going to be absolutely amazing on draft. And there is absolutely no hint of the 8% in there. Not a bean. It's dangerously drinkable. It really is. That is... I mean, Verdant Howl was up there for me for beer of the year and this is this is right on its coattails it really is just let that that coat your tongue just let it go all over to get a complete yeah you, you've you've got to you've got to let it explore and get everything because there is sweetness in there and there is bitterness and there is a bit of everything going on that is that is an incredible brew, and uh, it's this one, Verdant, maybe one more PSI, maybe one more Psy, maybe the P is silent, maybe he was talking to someone called Psy, and he's having one, maybe he wants another one, and then another one, and then another one, because it's that good, um, there's not many beers that I would give a full 5 out of 5 on untapped. But that's one of them. That is going to get a solid five from me tonight. Um, I do like a double IPA. A dipper. No, I've only got another one in the fridge. Because I always buy two of something when I get something new. One to try it initially. And then the second one just to make sure if I either do or don't like it. Maybe just one more tonight. And then I'll have to go out Otter's Tears and get some more. It's that good. It really is. Um, so yeah. Um, it's not what you would call a traditional real ale. Nowhere near it. Um, I joined camera last year. I've been meaning to for donkey's years. But only actually got round to it last year at the Stoke Beer Festival. And uh, I thought, well, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoy beer, so it's a good way to get heads up about good beer. And off the back of that, I joined various various Facebook groups. Um, there's the Craft Beer Forum, there's the UK version thereof as well. I discovered a few bottle shops in Stoke. Um, well, well, one in Hanley, one in Burslem. Um, there's Bottle Craft in Hanley. And that really opened my eyes, because it's only 10 minutes up the road. And uh, and then I then I discovered Otis Tears after a while, and that's where I got this Otis Tears in Burslem, it's on Queen Street, and uh, Phil, the guy who runs it, is absolutely sound as a pound. He really is. Um, he's the kind of guy who makes absolutely no bones about what he does. He loves beer, and he's a genuinely sound guy. And I go in there, and I, I have my favourites, and I always grab a couple of those, and I always ask him for some recommendations of what he likes, and uh, and this one popped up. And I'm glad he did, because it's amazing. It's really nice. And on that note, before I waffle too much and bore you to tears with just this beer, I will catch you later. So this has been the Verdant, maybe one more PSI, I've been Nick, and I will see you again soon for another review. Cheers all. Bye.